Hello everybody, we're going to start a project today. This is my first time experimenting with solar. I received this Windy Nation 200 watt solar package from Amazon in the mail. Um, I'm an avid RVer and we go on lots of long road trips, sometimes out west. And uh, we do a lot of boondocking and off the grid, no hookup type camping in national parks or uh, national forest campgrounds. And we needed a way to produce power if we're going to be staying for any extended period of time at these places. Um, this summer we have a big road trip plan. We're going to Alaska for six weeks. So we're going to have a long extended time when we're going to be out with a lot of no hookup camping. Um, we had two options. One was we could buy a generator or we could go with solar. Um, we looked into both options. The generator is nice because it can work even when there's no sun. Um, the downsides are if you're in a campground, a lot of times you can only run them during limited hours. Uh, it makes a lot of noise. You have to have gas on hand at all times. Um, the cost is a little more, perhaps. Um, this package was $250. Um, we decided to go with the solar because 200 watts should meet the needs for the things that we tend to use. Um, it's not going to run our microwave, it's not going to run the AC, but it will charge um, some of our devices. Uh, it'll run the water pump and the furnace fan. Um, it'll run the control panel for the refrigerator, which runs off propane, so most of the energy use on that comes from the propane. Um, might even be able to run the small TV off of it, perhaps. Um, we uh, have two batteries that this setup will be charging to. Um, we like the fact that uh, it runs all day long while you're out about sightseeing. Um, a generator, you have to be on the site running it while you're there, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, let's open this package and see what kind of product Windy Nation puts out. So right off the bat here, uh, there's minimal, minimal protection. It looks like there's a few styrofoam cubes in their packaging. Um, looks like all of the electronic uh, wiring and uh, charge controller are all right here in the back of this panel. Here's the first of the panels. Um, just taking a look at the general quality. Seems to be put together pretty well. The second panel is packaged in its own individual box. There is a dent I just observed in the back of this panel right here on the metal track. And there's one on this side as well. I, there's really minimal padding in this box. Um, it must have, must have happened during shipping, so that's kind of annoying. I don't think it's enough to have damaged the panel. I can probably bend it out with some tools. I'll save these cardboard pieces for when I do the installation. I can tape this cardboard on the front of the panel so that they're not producing power when I'm trying to connect the wiring later. Now let's check out what came in this package right here. So inside here, uh, here's the charge controller. This is a PWM controller. Uh, it's it's not as good as the MPPT controllers from what I've run online, but I think it'll it'll do a good enough job for what I'm looking to do. It feels pretty decent quality. We'll know more once we get the setup hooked up. We've got several several sets of connectors here. 
These are the MC4 connectors that would be used to connect the panels in parallel. We also have this, uh, I believe this connects to the, the uh, solar load. You can have it run the lights straight from the charge controller. This is 40 feet of UL listed 12 gauge solar cable. It appears to be multi-strand wiring. The panel also came with a pair of Z brackets to connect the panels to the roof of the RV. I, in addition to the ones that it came with, I ordered an additional pair for each panel just for extra security so they don't blow off when we're going down the road. All in all, the package looks pretty good, minus the couple of dents I found. Um, we'll now move on to installing them on the roof of the RV.